Can you imagine living in the time of Jesus and listening to these parables? Can you imagine today where evidently a large group is there and included are those who are the religious leaders for the Jewish people, chief priests, scribes, Pharisees that we hear all through the Gospels. But today, these religious leaders, Jesus has a point with his parable. And the parable is very decisive. It talks about a landowner who's all this vintage to bring in. But sadly, the tenants who are there want to keep it for themselves. And although the servants are brought forth, they are killed, beaten up, and his own son is, dies in this sacrifice. And as you listen to this, you can almost think of, in some ways for us, it's easy. But in that time, what was Jesus trying to teach? The point of the parable seems to be not only the dying of the son, but that the mission of that vineyard continues. The vintage will come. The, the own landowner will find someone to take over, even if it's not his son. And of course, for you and me, as we listen to this almost 2,000 years later, it's really easy to see, oh yes, the son that was killed was Jesus himself. And now the ones who can bring the produce forth are called to be in his church. It's you and I who are asked by God in the mission of Jesus, blessed by the Holy Spirit, to bring forth the kingdom of God to be bringing forth his fruit. And in some ways, that's overwhelming, because how much can you and I do by ourselves? Little, if it is by ourselves, but much with the Holy Spirit. Look at your own life and your own family life. Look what you're trying to do in your own faith life being here this morning. What you're trying to do in terms of growing closer to the Lord, especially in Lent, and particularly on this Friday. As each Friday in Lent, the readings focus very much on the sacrifice of Jesus. What is our sacrifice? Not just what we're giving up, not just what we're doing more, but what is it that draws us to the Lord, that he strengthens us, he empowers us, he gifts us by the Holy Spirit. So I just invite you this morning to pray with that. How the sacrifice of Jesus at the holy sacrifice of the Mass, invites us to be sacrifices as well, to be drawn together in receiving himself, so that when we go, wherever it is today, tomorrow, this weekend, we're aware we are not alone. We live in the sacrifice of Jesus. And as even though he died on the cross, he rose from the dead. He empowered the holy apostles at the Feast of Pentecost to go beyond those closed walls. And in some ways, that mission continues in us.